She's a thick boy. So last but not least, leaf, 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 oh, glitter, glitter, glitter. This might be a little too close for comfort. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all doing well today. So in today's video, we're going to be doing another Shop My Stash video. Um, I just like these videos because, like I mentioned a few weeks ago, I just like doing tutorials. And um, I think it's a really great way to get to know your products because for me personally, sometimes I just want to buy and buy and buy and buy and buy and buy more products all the time. And I feel like it's because I get bored and stuck in a routine with my current products. So doing something like this is in my mind healthy because you get to rotate through your products and use some things that you might not normally use. Like for me, I don't use most of these products or haven't used them and they're just sitting here, you know. I just realized you can see my computer monitor here. Boop, boop, it's fine. Anyways, so yeah, that's why I'm doing this. I hope you enjoy. Um, might inspire you to do something similar, just use up products because you know, they get like lost in the back of the drawer and then you never find them and then all of a sudden they're expired and you have to throw them out. So that is what I am trying to avoid right now. So without further ado, I guess let's just get started. Okay, so here is my makeup storage tower. I guess let's start with the base. So I think I'll use this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I guess let's try this because I don't know if I even have tried it yet. I got it for like a Sephora sample. Oh, I kind of use all these. Oh, you know what I have? I've got this Laura Mercier and it's got concealer in here. And there's actually a powder in there too, which I guess we will use. But I also want to use this this MAC CC powder. Let's try both because I want to see if this is any good for dark circles. Now, I want to use this for blush and I think that I used it wrong. So this blush could be really pretty. I use all these pretty regularly. This is the only one I don't really use. So I'm going to try and use this one. So grandma, I guess we'll see if it does well. I only have two eyeshadow primers, so there's not much I can do there. Let the games begin. So I'm gonna use this eyeshadow palette here. It's the Beauty Treats Roses palette. Um, it is very beautiful. The camera's kind of washing the colors out. Um, just kind of neutral palette. I think it's very nice, but I haven't applied it really before. So I wanna do my eyes first, just in case there's a lot of fallout. So let's zoom you guys in and we will get started on the eyes. Is this too close? I'm actually gonna start with my eyebrows because I actually just like can't look at them when they look like this. So I've got this little trio here. It is the, actually, did I use this in my last Shop With Me video? One sec, let me look. I did. This is the exact same thing that I used in my last video. So as you can tell, I still don't use them. So I'm just gonna get something else really quick. Embarrassing. Switching, I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl Brow Pomade and my Ariposa Brow Gel. Whoops, <laughs> whoopsies. I like this one because it's got a brush on it. And this stuff I, I don't mind. I do use sometimes. I find it's a little light for my brows. I find this pomade, it's also just like a bit soft. It's kind of hard to, to get precision with. It's okay. I wouldn't rebuy it. Actually, someone gifted it to me. Um, probably because they also didn't like it, if I remember correctly. But I don't hate it. So I'm just going to top that off with this Aeroprosa Brow Gel. And I'm not going to put this in the front of my brows because it's got a lot of pigmentation to it. So I'm mostly focusing on, on the outer tail because my outer tails are pretty sparse. Um, before I move on to the eyes, I'm just going to do my primer first. So like I said, I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and this is supposed to be redness reducing. And I do have a lot of redness in my cheeks. So that's great for me. I never really know if it's reducing any redness. It never feels like it is. Okay, so to prime my eyes, I'm going to use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer here and just take a little dab and throw her on. Man, this thing's getting to the bottom. My problem is that when products start getting towards the end, I don't want to finish them. 
because I don't want them to be gone. It's like this really toxic trait I have. And then I'm just left with a bunch of stuff with like nothing. Okay, so going into my roses palette here, I am just gonna start off with this yellow shade and kind of fluff it into the crease. It's very powdery. You know, this, this shade's kind of showing up a little. No, it's not. Who am I lying to? So I'm gonna take my JH33 brush and go into this middle shade here, just kind of on the end and work it into my crease. depositing some color but I'm wondering if that's just what was on my brush already okay I'm gonna go in with the even darker shade okay the darkest shade is definitely shows up so I'm just gonna tap back into the lighter shade now and blend it out blending pretty nicely I'm just gonna go in with this little M31 brush and go in with this dark gray shade. Tap it off, cause she's powdery. Just put it right on the outside. They're blending nicely. I'm gonna go into this gold shade for my lid and I'm just gonna go on my finger. Wow, it's looking very pretty on my finger. I'm just tapping it over with a little bit of that white to try and tone down the gold. And I'm just darkening up that outer corner again with the brown mixed with the gray. So I've got my Physician's Formula Eye Booster pen. I'm just going to do a little line with. Now, I don't usually use this because it's gray, not black. All right, so I do really, really like the eyeliner. Just like I said, it's not very black. It's a gray color, and that's why I don't really reach for it, as opposed to my Essence one that's very black. Um, so for our mascara, I've got this Pure Fully Charged Mascara. It's a little sample size. Um, I do use it. See, with mascaras, I don't like to have too many open at once because then they dry out and mascaras have a pretty short shelf life. Usually I have like two normal mascaras open and one waterproof. I was gonna zoom out for the face, but I guess since we're zoomed in, we might as well stay zoomed in so that way you can actually see what's going on. So for my foundation today, I've got this little sample size of the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Full Cover Foundation 24 hour. Um, it's in the shade Y245. Um, I didn't get to pick the shade, I mean, I did, but there was only like four shades to pick from, so I don't think it matches me, so good thing we've got a turtleneck. Oh, it's thick. She's a thick boy. Oh yeah, that's far too yellow. I'm gonna blend it out with a sponge on this side and see how it looks. Oh my God, it's like orange. Do you see that color difference? <laughs> it does not look like it would be that color in here. Wow, that dried down fast. I'm gonna use my Real Techniques brush on the other side, just to see how it goes. Take the same amount about. And I'm just doing kind of stippling motions. Definitely need to drag it down the neck. It is drying so fast. Color aside, it looks fantastic on the skin like really really nice really nice damn so i've got this little pot concealer from laura mercier it's the undercover pot it's just got like this it's got like a salmon shade and a normal shade i think i'll use the salmon shade first oh, there's a teeny tiny little mirror in it I'm just going to use this where most of my darkness is. That mirror is way, way too small. Okay, and then once that is on, I'm just going to take the other side with my sponge. I didn't even pick anything up. And just pop it on. I'm just putting it on to start, and then I'm going to blend it out with my sponge. 
So for under eye powder, there is a powder in the bottom of this, but I want to see if this is any good. It's the Prep and Prime CC Powder by MAC, and I just want to see if it's going to make my whole under eyes yellow because banana powders can be really great for some people, or they can be really not great for other people. I'm usually one of the people that they're not great for. That was that didn't go according to plan. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Do you see this? There's like a sticker that I was trying to pull off. And instead it pulled the whole friggin' sifter out. Okay. So it's it's yellow powder. I'm just gonna take a little bit of it. I'm really <gasps> paralyzed with fear guys it's everywhere I'll be back I need a I need to get the vacuum I'm not impressed okay I just realized that I have a liquid highlighter to try so before you put the powder on I'm gonna try this liquid highlighter so it's the makeup revolution champagne liquid highlighter um, a long time or not a long time ago but a while ago this was used as like a dupe for the cover FX highlighter so I don't know. I never loved it. We'll see. Maybe things have changed. So I'm going to try it a couple different ways. Um, I know I'm not going to put it right on my skin. That's for sure. That I know is bad. So I'm just taking a little bit of it and I'm going to blot it on my f hand first and then try and tap it in. Because I know if I just put dots on my face like the Instagrammers do, that looks bad on me. That looks pretty. It doesn't seem to have lifted anything. And next, I'm going to take a little bit on my sponge. And I'm, I'm still going to tap some of it off on my hand. And just work from there. I think I like it better with my finger. See how it's kind of gathering? That's my problem with this thing. Is it, it gathers in bunches. And with the sponge, it's taking off my makeup. With my finger, it didn't bunch or gather. So I don't hate it. I'll try it again. Just not with the sponge. I'm gonna try this stupid powder now. I've got a tiny bit in here. I will never tip it upside down again if I do try this thing again. I'm gonna use this Bare Minerals Tapered Blush Brush and just get it in there. God, it's very fine. I'm tapping out my creases. It looks yellow. Not to mention, it's all bunching up here. <sighs> yeah, it looks yellow and it's not worth it. Final say. So I'm gonna do my bronzer now using this Rimmel London and using this contour shade. It's definitely more of a bronzer shade for me and it's got sparkle in it. So I don't know why they'd call it a contour shade cause contour should be like a shade color, not orange with sparkles in it. Okay, so I'm gonna use this sparkly contour shade here with my Real Techniques blush brush. it already doesn't match I look orange actually orange like it looks a little better with everything on but you can still see how wrong this color is we just pull the turtleneck up more so I've got this Hank and Henry blush duo here lust and lush touch is the shade here and I'm just gonna use this on my elf airbrush stippling brush because the last time I used it I used the sponge and that was the wrong move so I'm just gonna tap into it and tap it off on my hand yeah it's definitely very pigmented blush but I don't necessarily mind that I'm just gonna tap over it with my sponge so last but not least, we have the lips. Now I've got this ColourPop lipstick here in the shade Bumble, and I've got an e.l.f. lip lacquer. It's just like a very pretty glitter shade. 
I haven't used it yet, so I wanted an excuse to. I usually try and avoid these ColourPop lipsticks in the winter because they're so drying. So drying. My lips are already dry enough. And I'm just gonna go over it with this lip lacquer. Oh, it's in the shade Honey Rose. Oh. I didn't think it was gonna be like glitter glitter. So I just zoomed you in more so you can really see what I'm talking about. So you can see that the eyeshadow blended pretty nicely. Uh, this isn't very black, it's more of a gray shade. Um, I hope the foundation translates how pretty it looks. Glitter lips. Still pretty. Alright, let's zoom out. Okay, so that is all of the makeup. I had a lot of fun shopping my stash this time. Um, I feel like a lot of the products turned out really, really well. I probably shouldn't be surprised by how nice this foundation looks, but I am. It is settling in this line a little and kind of around my nose, but not too much. The blush is really pretty. I will definitely use the highlighter drops again, but only with my finger. And this bronzer is definitely more of like a summer bronzer because of the glitter in it, but still really pretty. The eyeshadow, I think I'm going to have to mess around with a little bit more, but I did like the way it blended, and I do like the look that we created with it. And, um, case closed, I guess. Yeah, I like everything. I hope you like everything. That's it. That's all it is. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below, as well as hit the subscribe button if you want to see a new video here every single Sunday. You can come hang out with me, and sometimes my little cat penguin shows up. And yeah, I hope you guys are all having a really great day and I'll see y'all next week. Bye!